Hey everyone, Kelly Crawl along with Luke Stuckmeyer and welcome to the best of beer money presented by Coors Light and Luke, what a season we just had. It was a good one. It didn't always go as planned, but we had fun along the way. In fact, our first episode, first contestant of the season, he came out hot. Although he wasn't too happy that the subject of his custom made t-shirt didn't show up. Okay, we have a diehard fan. This is Anthony. Anthony, where are you from? I'm from Morrison, Illinois, but I'm a student here at NIU. So we're giving away cool t-shirts, but you decide to show up in a t-shirt. All right, show us. The good news is it's a cool t-shirt. The bad news is Kelly's not here for this episode. No Kelly. Crawled it no Kelly. Did you bedazzle this? This is I, very nicely I, done. I went out and I got the best letters possible yeah. just, just for Kelly, but you know. It's fine. It's what fine. store do you go to to get gold lettering uh, like that? It was uh, it was a big one. It was Dollar General. Dollar General. Yeah. Let me see the back again. Is, yeah. Hashtag beer money. Gold letter. Go Cubs. Very nice. Very nice. Well, you might have two great t-shirts by the time we're done with this. You right, Anthony? Yeah. Here we go. You're a Cubs fan, so for $10, who has more career strikeouts, John Lester or Cole Hamels? More career strikeouts. Well, they've both been in the league for a while. Yeah. Both pretty good. Whoa. I'm gonna. I'm Lester gonna... Hamels. Lester Hamels. I'm just gonna go with Lester because he's got so many rings. Lester because he's got so many rings. You think? By the way, do you think Lester'd wear that shirt? Hell, oh hell, the, I get the that. hashtag beer money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The hashtag beer money. Yeah. He might. He might wear one of these if we give it to him. So you're going with Lester. I'm gonna go with John Lester. Final answer. It's probably Cole. It's, 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 it's Cole Hamels. Oh now, the good news is, where's his shirt? Do I we have a shirt? It's right over here. Oh, let me see that beauty. Hold this up. You have one great shirt. I got one good shirt. Now look at this. I got an even better shirt right here. Right there. Go beer money. Heard the show was going to be on the air. We were going to be in here at Halftime Bar and Grill. You thought, I'm going to go. Yep, that's, that's right. Win some money. Win some money. All right. Let's see, Kevin. For $10, all I have to do, it's not even a question. Give me your best home run swing and bat flip. I'll back off. Home run swing and a bat flip. Boom. There it goes. And he just tossed it aside like that. I knew you were going to ask me that. You knew that was going to be it? All right, all right. I'll give you 10. I don't know if that was the greatest bat flip, but I appreciate that it wasn't too extravagant. Okay, thank you. You don't want to brag too much, right? You don't want to make the other team mad. You want to keep going or you want to yeah. just stop with your we'll, we'll keep going. You're keep going to keep going? Yes. All right, Kevin. For $20, multiple choice. The Cubs video board is closest in square footage to 1,000 square feet, 2,000 square feet, 3,000 square feet, or 4,000 square feet. Um, Big video board and left. Yeah, right. Um, I'm going to go with 4,000. 4,000 square feet. Yeah. You gotta trust the gut. 4,000. 3,990 square feet. Now, Kevin, I've seen it a million times on this show. People get to the $30 and they say they want the 100, and then they get it wrong, and then they're mad at me. Do you want to walk away or do you want to go for the 100? Um. I'll go for it. You're gonna go for it. Yeah. It's okay if you it's okay if you don't get it right. Right, that's fine. We'll go for it. No bat flips. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. For a hundred dollars, who finished second on the Cubs in home runs in 1998? It's a tough, it's a tough hundred dollar question. 1998. Who was second in home runs for the Cubs? Oh, that was. Sosa and Grace. I'm trying to think of the roster. Mm. So you figure Sammy's up there. What you're thinking? Yeah, Sammy right. is obviously, and it's obviously not Mark Grace. Um, I'm gonna go with Henry Rodriguez. Henry Rodriguez. Yeah. For 130 bucks. Correct. Yes. I think you should give him the home run swing because oh, that's what? pretty good, Henry Rodriguez. This is our guy Nacho. You've seen him before. He's back again with his blue fist and his Coors Light. What's your record on the show? It's good. No, no. What's the record? What? 
Uh, you know, okay, fine. You Honest, won. You have won. I'm one, I think, in three. But you were still on the All Stars. I was. I was. I was on an All Star. You're gonna do Cubs trivia, I assume. Do you wouldn't, it. and no other team. Do it, Cubs. Yes. All right, here we go. Nacho for ten dollars. Which Cubs slugger led the National League in home runs in 2000 and 2002? 2000. Tony, if you don't get this right. Sammy. That's right, yes. You can kiss that hello to that $10 bill. A little Coors Light. I'm gonna need a refill right now. You wanna keep going? Let's keep going. Yeah, that's so. right. Nacho, for $20, which Cub led the National League in home runs in 1990? 1990. Yeah. Okay, so it couldn't have been Sammy Sosa because he wasn't even with the club then. It's good work. You that, you, me, you've, elim you. you've eliminated Sammy. That is correct. 1990. Yeah, yeah. Sandberg. Rhino? Yeah. Yes, Nacho. It's yeah. Rhino. What other names were swirling around in your head? Mark Grace didn't hit No, 20. you know what? I was just... 40. I wasn't trusting myself. I wasn't trusting myself. You panicked. Got it. Got it. So now what? Because that was a bit of a gift. Let's go. Let's do it. You're going to put it I'm on the doing, line. I'm doing Put it on the line. Let's go. Cold Coors Light has him ready for the $100 question. Name the other three Cubs who have led the National League in home runs in the last 60 years. So, Sammy, Rhino, now give me three more names. Cubs that led the mm. National League in home runs the last 60 years. Last 60 years. Derek Lee. Yes, yes. Derek Lee's one. Andre but, Dawson. Andre Dawson. Led the National League in home runs. You're saying D. Lee, the I'm, Hawk, Andre Dawson. I want to see Javi. You know what? If I crash and burn, I crash and burn. I'm going to go with those three. Javi, Andre Dawson. And Derek Lee. And Derek Lee. You've got one. Okay, I got one. You got one, so you got to come up with two. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. One of those is correct. I'm, I know it's... Okay. Last 60 it's, years. It's got to be Andre Dawson is one of them for sure. Okay, Andre Dawson. Ernie Banks. So now you're saying... Aramis Dawson, Ramirez. Banks, and Aramis Ramirez. Yes. That's it. That's it. Dave Kingman is the name you missed. Ah! One and four for an all-star league. One and four. Ernie Banks, Dave Kingman, Andre Dawson, Ryan I, Sandberg, uh, Sammy Sosa. I didn't even King think. Kong Kingman. Yep. I'll take it back. You know how it goes. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. For one and five. All right, I'm here with Michelle, and you know what? It's Michelle's birthday. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so what have you been doing on your birthday? Uh, I was in school all day, and then I got to come here. So I'm really excited to be here. All right, so here's what I want to happen on your birthday. I want you to win beer money. Sounds good to me. And I want the White Sox to win tonight. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Would love to see that. All right, so let's start with beer money. So first question for $10. On April 17th, just recently, Tim Anderson hit a home run. Then he was hit by a pitch against what team that happens to be from Kansas City? The Royals. Hey, the Kansas City Royals. She got it yeah. right. Yeah. $10 for the birthday girl. All right, you want to go on to the $20 question? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> OK. Who was the Royals pitcher who hit Anderson with the pitch, Brad Keller? Um, I'm going to say Paul Matthews. I'm going to repeat the question. <laughs> who was the Royals pitcher who hit Anderson with the pitch, Brad Keller? Uh, Gene. <laughs> Last name, Gene. I'm going to do it one more time. Listen really carefully. OK. Who was the Royals pitcher who hit Anderson with the pitch, Brad Keller? Brad Keller. Hey, she got it, $20. <laughs> $20, there it is. Now, do you want to continue on for $100? I might not be as nice. If I don't get it right, do I have to give you this back? Yes. Um, I, I'm probably not going to get it right, but I'll try. You want my advice? 
Yeah, I want your advice. You should take the money. Okay. Unless it's from 2005, I could probably answer that question. No, it's actually from this season. I mean, how well, how well do you know the starting pitchers right now? Yeah. It's not in your wheelhouse. 2005 is. I think you take the $30 I it. and have a fun. great birthday. So All right. Welcome back to Beer Money, presented by Coors Light. I'm Luke Stuckmeyer. Mike, Mike, Mike. That's all I have to say. This is Mike, and Mike, it's your anniversary today? Yes, it is. So I feel like you, you've got some good luck on your side. You know, I hope so. Hey, the, the wife hit the slot machine earlier for a couple hundred bucks, so. Really? And, that, and now you're playing Beer Money. You and now I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. What anniversary is it? 11th anniversary. 11th anniversary. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the 130 bucks right on the table because I feel like you're going to go ahead and win that. I hope so. That's what I think. Are you ready for Bears trivia? I'm ready. All right. For $10, who is the Bears starting quarterback? This year? Yeah. Mitch Trubisky. Mitchell Trubisky, right? Correct. 10 bucks is yours. Go ahead, take it. Put it <laughs> off to the side. Unless you get this next question wrong. Now, you could stop. You already won on the slot machines. Now you got 10 more bucks. I got, I, you know, we are up, but I'm all in. You're going to keep going? I'm going. Where are you from? Mount Greenwood. Mount Greenwood, all right. For $20, since 2000, the Bears have had 21 other starting quarterbacks besides Trubisky. Name five of those guys. Five starting Outside quarterbacks? Outside of Trubisky, name five guys that have played quarterback for the Bears since 2000. Since 2000. Um... Well, Cutler, obviously, has been there forever. Jay Cutler's one. Jay Cutler. is uh, Grossman. Long list of guys. I know, I know. Every, every other year we had a guy. Cutler was the only one that stuck around for a while. Well, who, was the, who was the draft pick that was a total bust? You're going to be so in the doghouse if you know, don't at least right, win $30. You're right, you're right. I'm blowing it. Um, she wins on the slot machine. I am. Kyle Orton. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kyle come on in, come on, come on That in. was the lead. Come on in. And I was having a brain fart because Kyle Orton. All right, Rex Grossman, Jay Bring, your, bring your wife in, she'll help you out. Kyle Orton. Kyle Orton, how many do I need? Two more? Two more. So, am I going back too far with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, 2000. Who? Yeah. Jimmy Miller? Jimmy Miller. Am I going, I think Jimmy Miller's too far four. with Jimmy uh, Miller. Jimmy one guy they signed and barely played. He had a really long neck after Cutler. Long neck. Oh, uh, Mike. Um, oh, Cannon. Glennon. 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 Mike Glennon. You got it. All right. I worked with a guy named Mike Cannon. There you go. Thank you for leading me there. Holy cow. Mike Cannon never played. For the I know. I know. I right. worked with him though. So here, so here we go. So then now you got 30. <laughs> the rest of the stack is the hundred dollars. You know, so you could just stop with thirty. You won the slot machines. That was a little bit of work trying to come up with five names. I know, I'm times. I'm struggling here. Yeah. But I'm all in. I gotta go. I gotta go all in. You're all in. I'm all in. All right. Oh I can't. I'm already up today, so what could possibly go wrong? You wanna check with your wife, you wanna make sure? She says she read, you're good, you're good to go. All right. You guys are all in for hundred dollars. Name five more. <laughs> Forever though? You can do it. You got it. You Look got it. it. All right. You all right. Mike. All right. Can I go back? To 130 total. All you have to give is five, five more guys that played quarterbacks with Bears since 2000. There's. I can there's remember yesterday. There's 22 guys. There's 22 is guys. That really? There's been that many since 2000. Since Trubisky, there's been 21 oh guys since 2000. If you include Trubisky, 22. So all you have to give is five, five more. more. Five more quarterbacks. Yeah, I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm in trouble now. No, um, you could totally do this. Cordell Stewart. Um, oh, what? What Cordell did you say? Stewart? Cordell Stewart's one. That's one. You got four more to go. Four more to go. I'd, I'd really like to grease your palms. I know, with, I know. I'd really like to grease your palms I, with I, that 130. I, I, I'm, oh, man. This guy I, had a I famous dad. I'd love to grease your palms with this $130. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, 
Dan Greasy or uh, Brian Dan. Greasy. Brian Greasy. Brian Greasy. Are you sure it's not Dan Greasy? Is it Dan Greasy? I don't know. I'm choking here. Three more. Three more. Oh, oh God. You're walking me through. You're down to three. Um, These people are Googling on I know, their phones. No. I, I, you know what? I think... I, I'm stumped. I, 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 you're Chucker. I can't even get. How many more does he need? Three. Three more. Right. The whole bar is chanting your name now. God. Be like Mike. Come on, right now. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have picked the bulls, huh? Sometimes I dream that he is me. <laughs> oh. Um. Um. Oh. I don't know. All right. I'm tapping out. All right. I'll let you go ahead and read the list, everybody. Who did All you miss? Right. Miller Burris. Well, you missed Shane Mann. Oh, Cade McNown. Cade McNown. Mm. UCLA. Yeah. Starts with Mick. Hey, Jason Campbell. Josh McNown. Josh oh, McNown. The... Jimmy Clausen. I told you. Boyer. I told you who it was. Oh. I told you. Boyer. All oh, that. Hey, Boyer. but you know what? Happy anniversary. <laughs> Thank you. Let's win you some money tonight right. and more of those and round for the whole table, okay? Absolutely. Let's do it. So <clears throat> this card has a theme to it, and it's okay. gonna start with this guy, Aramis Ramirez, who primarily played okay. what position? Third base. You got that. Okay, that was easy. All right, All right. we're warming you up. There's All ten dollars. Right, uh, How do you feel right now? Friend? All right. Uh, <laughs> I, I, All right. I feel, yeah, yeah, I feel like you're okay. a little nervous. All right, I no? just need to go up on my Aramis Ramirez stuff, uh, <laughs> which I'm trying to remember it right now. So I think I feel okay, but- You'll be we'll, all right. Yeah, all right. Can I encourage you to go for 20 or yeah. would you like to walk away no, after 10? Yeah, no, yeah, go okay. for 20. So I've talked you into 20. Yeah, all right, so Ramirez played his first and final yeah. MLB games with the same team. Can you tell me what team that was? <laughs> Pittsburgh Pirates. You are spot on. Brian, you're spot on. All right. You were you to be brushing up on the spot. Right, you're, yeah. you're doing okay. All right, yeah. What do oh, you think? Sure, yeah. Now, though, it gets a little tricky. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. We make the $100 question a little yes. bit tougher because, you know, we just can't be giving yeah, out sure. money. Okay. I'm all, yeah, I'm all, in. all in. All in? I love it, Brian. It's all in. Okay, so when Ramirez was traded to the Cubs, yeah. what other player came to Chicago in that deal? All right. Kenny Lofton. Holy smokes, you didn't even have to make up. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I want another one of those fist pumps with the All money. Right. Yes! Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Best of Beer Money presented by Coors Light. And Brett certainly came in with ego in hand. However, luckily for him, he could walk the walk. Brett knows his Cubs stuff. All right, Brett, I see you got your Coors Light. You're ready to go. Nicely done, nicely done. So I want you to take this as a compliment, okay? Sure. But the scouting report that is out on you yeah. is that you have a healthy ego when it comes to knowing your cups. Would you say that's accurate? You know, I don't think that's true. I'm actually much like Don, very nervous right now. What? Yeah, very much so. Is I, Just like Don, is there any way that you can give me a hug to help me, uh, wow. Wow. Help me get through Friend. these awkward times? Well played, well played. Okay, get in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Now I see where this is going. All right, Brent. <laughs> So now you're not nervous anymore, right? No, I, suddenly it's all melted away, and I'm ready to get $130. Okay, I, yeah, I'm just going to get to the questions now. Okay, sure. here's the deal. For $10, you know how this works, right? $10, $20, 100 Okay, yeah. for 10 bucks, can you tell me what team beat the Cubs in the 1989, 1989 NLCS? Giants beat us in five. You got it. You're lucky, because I was going to be like, oh, and how many games? That was going to be your second yeah, question. I was hoping that it was going to be the second question. Yeah, well, was. it wasn't. It wasn't. We're going to go a different direction. I'm right. going to ask you, who was the Cubs manager in 1989? That was Don Zimmer. That it was. Okay, okay. So here you go, Brent. You do not appear nervous whatsoever. I'm sure that hug was really working some magic. I'm the most <laughs> sincere person you know. I, that absolutely was. 
Uh, so are we up to the hundred dollars? We're up to the hundred dollars. <laughs> big, big decision here for me right here, Kelly. Yeah. But you know what? Something tells me I know the answer to this. Question. Yeah. You. If you keep asking me Cubs questions, I'll keep getting them right. There is that healthy ego. I knew it would come out, but I like it. I like right. the confidence. Okay. So okay. we're going for it. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's sure. It. Okay. So I need you to name all three pitchers that made a start for the Cubs in the 1989 NLCS. Well, now you just wiped yeah, I know. That's the lucky yeah. stash. <laughs> all right, so. Take a deep breath, maybe another sip of your Coors yeah, Light. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good idea there, Kelly. The, the nervous is. I don't just give hugs, yeah, I right. give tips. Right, They're good. Mm. <laughs> all right, so, Brett. So let's see, what do you young, got? a young Greg Maddox definitely started. You're uh, showing off right now, I can tell, but. Yeah. Maddox is correct. That is one. Then former 1984 Cy Young winner Rick Sutcliffe uh, definitely started those games. The game is Rick well. Sutcliffe is two. You got any more knowledge you want to drop on the fans at home watching? Yeah, see, so you know the nervous is starting to come back, Kelly. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be real honest. The third one is tricky. Yeah, that, that's, that's really tricky. That's why tough. it's a $100 question. Very. Or else you're playing this up big time. Are you big, Are you uh, pulling out the theatrics right now? Maybe just a touch. He's the only one who actually pitched in a winning game in the 1989 NLCS, and that would be Mike Balecki. And I need you to wave this with all the ego in your heart and pride you know, and show it off. You, you know, Kelly, this could be our $130. Oh, Lord have mercy. Well played. Get in here. All right, I'm here with Josh and a penguin. What is the story of the penguin? This is uh, Polly the penguin. Uh, we rescued him uh, out of an alley, spray painted the Sox logo on him. He's our uh, tailgate mascot. And he's thriving now. And Polly, is this it for is. Paul Canerco, maybe? Um, yeah, named after Paul Canerco, Polly the penguin. Now you're going to bring it inside to the game as well, or does he stay inside uh, uh, the car? He stays out here and watches our uh, stuff while we go in there. Uh, does he know anything about sports trivia, or is it all going to be you? Uh, mostly me. Mostly okay. Me. All right, uh, big time White Sox fan, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about this kid named Eloy Jimenez? Yeah, sure. We have a lot of Eloy Jimenez questions for you. Okay, all right. The $10 question is, what number does Eloy Jimenez wear? 74. That is correct! Yeah. There we go, I knew I had some crowd here behind me. Here's $10. $10 for Josh, do you want to continue on for the $20 question? Uh, let's, yeah, let's try it. Okay, I think Polly the Penguin would want you to continue on. Okay. $20. Against what team did Aloy Jimenez hit his first two career home runs? Uh, I was on the road. No one cheat. Was it? Google it. Google it. You cannot Google. <laughs> no Googling. Was it the, the Royals? <laughs> I want to say it was the Kansas City Royals. I really want to say it for you yeah. and Polly the Penguin. Yeah. But it was the Yankees. I gotta take the ten dollars back. He can have it. Okay. He can. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching another fun season of Beer Money presented by Coors Light. We want to make sure we thank all the bars that had us out this season and all the great contestants Absolutely. that put their reputations on the line. And a huge special thank you to our sponsor, Coors Light. They do a wonderful job. And of course, stay tuned for our upcoming filming dates, fall of 2019. It's wow. right around the corner at NBCS Beer Money. You can follow us on Twitter and find them there. Until then, have a good one. Get the money, man. Get the money, man. Get the money, man.